everything you need to start mining helium. So this video is gonna be perfect for you if you are a beginner and looking to get into mining, or maybe you are an experienced person, but you're looking uh, on ways to branch out and maybe just brainstorm on how to make a new installation. Now, I won't be going over the installs step by step, but I will be going over what you need in the installs and uh, how to use the spreadsheet that I made, which brings me to my next point, guys. My favorite thing about this video is this whole new spreadsheet that we have. It is super sick, super awesome, and I just spent hours and hours working with my accountant to make this work for you. Uh, when I first started mining Helium, uh, I really just had this little notebook here, and I was just in a complete mess it was it was so messy my least favorite thing about this video guys is that this is my fourth attempt to watch this so i'm a little bit frustrated right now but with that being said guys when i first started uh this is oh, this is a little bit of a uh, my, my journal here and i will one day be more transparent what's in here but this is actually where i keep my financial goals uh, and especially when it comes to mining i write down everything that i want to happen in here um i don't always have the best mindset about it but i'm working on it this right here guys uh if you're looking at what this is uh it's really almost nothing but this is how i organized my uh my mining situation i would plan out the location i would write down like what kind of install it is and as far as what i would need uh this is where i would just brainstorming locations and uh same thing just writing out what i needed right i would write down like what kind of antenna uh the arrester oops the arrester and uh just all everything long story short guys what i want to explain here is that this has no format and it's really hard to do this for eight different installs as you can imagine i have literally like 15 different tabs open and it's it's just it's a wreck it's a mess so guys if you if you guys want access to the spreadsheet uh follow along with me it is super cool it's gonna be in the discord in the link section uh just go ahead and click on it download it there's already steps on how to do everything so everything's already been made for you guys just go ahead and download it and you will be able to edit that yourself uh, if you guys want to follow along with me now starting off with everything you need we would be silly to leave out the miner itself uh so personally i encourage people to get uh, either bobcats sense caps minted or panther my favorite option is panther bobcats are great but they take forever to get here sense capital are a little bit difficult to come by unless you get them on amazon uh and minted again they take forever to drop they only do like drops here and there which brings me to panther panther is actually my go-to right now and i do have affiliate links down below but i am biased on that since you know having an affiliate link uh but here's the reason why guys panther has been able to distribute miners way faster than almost any other distributor the only person that it has not uh, really beat at the moment right now is bobcat but it seems that they are catching up and now every other distributor has you know taking a long long time to send out miners i'm not saying that they're going to ship it overnight now of course just depending on when you buy they will say hey we can ship within 15 days or maybe we can ship between thir three days but i bring this up because you know when it comes to getting a miner fast you know time lost equals money lost especially when you're in this market where the earnings are less and less for the miners just in general now that's completely untethered with the us dollar of hnt some people who buy miners have to wait seven eight nine months and i just think wouldn't it be a little bit smarter to get that money back within you know a year sooner um and again that's not financial advice by any means so so that kind of just sums it up as to why i prefer panther miners and why i'm so biased on them now throughout this list here guys i have affiliate links and i just want to give out my sincere appreciation you guys know how much i appreciate you guys using the links you guys really are a true blessing uh i mean that from the bottom of my heart now moving on guys i put timestamps down below guys if you're looking for a specific solution you guys want to come back to this video whenever you guys want but now we're going to go over uh just a simple install starting off with an indoor install not my favorite but but it is an option if you absolutely have to uh, indoor installs are pretty straightforward there are indoor antennas out there but i do not recommend them the reason being is because should you ever want to upgrade your miner down to you know a, a new location or maybe you want to put it um on an outdoor location whatever you guys will have the freedom to do so and you guys will have to spend that same money again twice so it really just makes more sense to get the outdoor uh mining antenna you're always going to need two ethernet cables as far as you know power over ethernet and then of course the power over ethernet injector and splitter i talk about that in my uh power over ethernet video somewhere over here you're gonna need one short cable and one long cable that will never change no matter what you do the short cable goes to the injector and the long cable goes into the splitter since we are an indoor miner we will not be needing any weatherproofing for this mining setup now that that's out of the way let's get to the fun stuff outdoor setups you guys love this this is what you guys come to the channel for you guys have seen the crazy insults that we do here now again this does not change for any setup especially if you're doing the power over ethernet uh, the only thing that will change guys is the distance of the cables so for example 
if you do power or ethernet you have two cables the only thing that changes is not the number of the cables but the distance of each cable so this is why this spreadsheet is going to be so handy you're going to be able to plan out all of these installs in a matter of a couple minutes now most likely if you do an outdoor install you will be needing some grounding cables so i will be attaching uh, this video right here and uh it'll be just going over just how to how to ground your miner and what i've done previously in the past and personally my goal with this whole list and you know just me in general mining helium is to not spend as much money as i possibly can it's actually the opposite um i want to spend as least money as i can to make the most money that i can now let's go over some rooftop installs so these are the most common and probably one of my favorite ways to go about it if i can get a chimney uh but here's the cheapest and really just the easiest way to get a base for your rooftop you steal it i have used my old dish network antenna uh just the base of it i kind of took everything apart and just reused the base you could use this uh, if you have one if you don't have one uh maybe your neighbors you're pretty cool with them maybe you're like hey i'll take that most of the people are not using these bases anymore if for whatever reason you just can't seem to get your hands on one of them i have linked them as well but honestly guys you can find them on you know facebook marketplace really cheap some of them are just like saying hey these are free get rid of them you know so people don't want them on their homes and again like i said i'm trying to save you guys some money here but just to go over it what i usually do is power over ethernet I, you have to have a base somehow and i use conduit poles for all my setups check out this universal setup video right here sorry to link all these videos but honestly this is the best way to just not waste your time instead of and not make this really really long video rooftop installs have proven to be one of the fastest for me and just super clean and super nice and sometimes you don't even have to do uh any punctures or any holes in the walls which is also super great especially when you're running a business when you want to just avoid as much liability as you can you know taking the least amount of risk on now going back to chimney installs my favorite because it's just a strong base already made and i just kind of tie it to it here's a video right here guys of the fastest install i've done i know a lot of you guys have already seen it but it's really just exactly everything that i've been talking about as far as a rooftop install also guys the chimney install i think is the wife friendliest one so just want to put that out there then going to flagpole installs this is very very easy using my universal setup video again guys uh and mixing the flagpole i do have a flagpole video right here um and um all you need is a flagpole and cement, right? But if you have a level, a, a shovel, that rhymes, and uh, no, no, that's basically it. You just buy the flagpole and then you can just knock it out. Of course, you have to do the whole setup for the outdoor enclosure, but super easy and just, just works great. And if you like a flag, it looks good too, so. Okay, so for tree install, guys, I have like two or three videos as far as the tree install. Honestly, you're going to have to just finagle it. You're going to have to get the bolts that really fit you. Uh, you're going to have to get stuff that that really works for your tree really what you're gonna need though guys is the same thing you're gonna need a base uh for something that the bolts to kind of latch onto which is again what we do for the universal enclosure that we talk about even if you don't use that guys and you use the enclosures from rack wireless like the whole kit and everything uh those are pretty pricey about 100 bucks but i have done this recently and it works out very nicely as well we had a tree clan go up and install that so all you need is to get four or five bolts um they're called timber bolts but if you don't want to get timber bolts uh you can just get any kind of screw really um just make sure that they're wide threaded power over ethernet and most likely you're going to be burying the cable with conduit or a direct burial cable good thing is i have already linked everything that i talk about in the spreadsheet guys okay guys here comes the fun stuff how many helium miners do you want to have five six seven thirty fifty crazy right okay so planning out two miners might be simple right Okay, when you do 10, 20 miners, it gets complicated. Why? Because not all the cable lengths are the same. For example, you might have one 200 foot cable, three 150 cables, uh, five 70 foot cables. All of a sudden, all this math is just crazy. <laughs> so let's get into the spreadsheet and show you how this works. So as soon as you click on the spreadsheet, guys, uh, you can you can follow these instructions here. If you wanna use Excel, use these here. If you wanna use the Google Sheets, then follow these uh, little little directions right here. Navigating the shopping cart, this part's important. Make sure you guys do read this because um, as, as much as we try to make this as simple as possible, it gets a little bit complex, but it's actually very, very easy. I just wanna explain it to you guys. Um, so for example, let's just say that you have two miners. Let's keep it real simple. Two miners means two locations. So therefore, let's say you wanna do one attic install and you wanna do one flagpole. So first go to attic and list out everything you need um, for the attic install. So for example, if you scroll down, I have the miners here, I have outdoors enclosures, um, I have the power over ethernet, 
all the different kind of ethernet cables you could potentially get uh, are really you could just list down everything you need without having to kind of go back and forth with pen and paper um again with one miner it's super simple but when you start doing five six seven 30 miners it's not it's not that simple so should you need anything with weatherproofing uh you can come over here and grab that as well for example like pitch pad uh kits for you know uh if you want to do like a puncturing install that's this thing right here uh but i've just listed a lot of helpful things um as far as the, like u-bolts as well these are specifically for the antennas you guys can use these as well if you do flagpole installs and you have one antenna you will need to buy another pair of these as well if you want to do an outdoor enclosure everything that we do from the videos uh this is the type one right here this is what i have selected here this is what we use in the videos now if you guys want to do something else i have listed this uh, right here as well i know i've seen a lot of people uh, especially on like reddit forms they're using these boxes as well so that will be type two so guys let's just say that you have one bobcat miner and you want to run power over ethernet for this setup so what you do is you go to the power over ethernet section i don't think you're going to need any outdoor enclosure since this is an attic install uh, what you do is you go over here click on the injector the single and just type in one right so that's all you need uh whoops then you need a splitter of course so just type in one as well notice how it's going to start outlining the bottom line cost this is what at the end of the day uh but don't worry about anything just yet i will explain more and more as you go down the road you can start to imagine all of the different cables that you need so let's just say you need a flat ethernet cable to get through some crevices in your home for the uh power over ethernet you can do that here or maybe you want direct burial for whatever reason uh or maybe you need uh just regular you know ethernet cable so i have listed all that down here and listing it in this format was super time consuming and tedious but it helps out a ton as far as planning so this is actually just more so for you guys i've done most of my planning but i will be using this for the rest of my miners so for an attic install we wouldn't need anything in weatherproofing so you can really just uh, forget about that uh, antennas you can pick what antenna you guys want again i've only listed the outdoor enclosures but i have listed the male to female so therefore for example if you get a male then you're going to color code it with the blue cables uh, that way you guys make sure you guys get the correct connections um a lot of people will ask questions about connections and stuff and really just this just makes it simple and i triple check these to make sure these are right uh, but you can also do that on the website and again if you get a rockland female antenna you're gonna have to get a male cable which again is color coded the same color down here we have the accessories that i talked about especially the flagpole should you want to do the flagpole installation i've also you put down the concrete that i've used in the past especially for like a flagpole installation uh, i'm not saying you guys have to buy it you know from here but at least it shows you a picture of what this actually is so you click on the link and it takes you straight to uh that product this is the same concrete i used for my flagpole installation so there it is it works fast and it sets really fast but this is all designed so that should you want a 12 dbi antenna all you have to do is click on the link and it'll take you directly to this without uh, you know closing out this tab here and then you can just insert the quantity that you have but you do this at the very end of the uh, whole process right so i'm just going to fill out these things here i want one uh, antenna and then i want uh, a lightning arrestor right here and for my setups i usually do like you know one three foot lmr 400 cable what happens guys at the end is the shopping cart will be updated you don't have to touch anything here unless you guys want to add something manually so guys check this out after you have completed all of your installs here what you could do is you can come over to the shopping cart or miscellaneous let's just say that you're missing something you can add something here for example let's just say you want to add a flagpole or maybe you want to add some tape right like you want to add like a couple rolls of tape for whatever reason you just add this boom and what happens is you come to the shopping cart and everything is completely updated the bottom line cost it tells you how much you're spending for your entire fleet and the coolest thing guys is the summary report this is my favorite part guys this does not change like you 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 guys don't need to touch anything here it will update automatically so let's just say i have one miner and i need to make sure that i have everything correct i would see one miner or maybe you already own it so this will be zero but i know that i have an attic install so i need one splitter one injector uh, i need one lmr 400 cable and i need a lightning arrestor and i need the uh antennas now i know that i have one 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 and i don't have over uh, you know i didn't buy too many things i personally have bought you know just one or two things extra uh but whatever because when you start to do multiple installs all of these numbers start to change guys the only thing that's not going to be probably collect correct is if you use a three pack this like I, I can't change that so for example like let me just go back when you go to power ethernet if you do one here this is the three pack 
if you do one right here, it, it will not pop up as three all the way over here. This is the extent of me and my accountants collaborative work together. So just know that this number right here will be the only one that's wrong. If you guys want to do this correctly, then just do eight singles and then it should pop up as eight over here. So if you have eight miners, right, with the exception of this tab being probably the only one that's wrong, actually, but you guys will know why. Um, if you have eight miners, then you're going to see eight enclosures, eight injectors, eight splitters. You'll see like four flat cables and four Ethernet cables. So you'll be able to be like, OK, total of eight cables uh, for Ethernet, you know, eight lightning arresters should you need it. And then, you know, eight LMR cables, no matter the length, it'll always tell you like how many cables you have just in general. Um, so this right here would just help you out a ton. This is what really threw me off and I was fumbling back and forth between Amazon and my notebook just trying to like do this. But yeah, it doesn't work anyways. Now, lastly, guys, the tools that I use for this is probably just as important as the actual equipment itself, because if you don't have the tools, then making all this stuff happen will uh, be difficult. I myself am personally on a budget, regardless of what everyone else does on YouTube. I do like to be on a budget, but I know that it's not possible to do these things without the proper tools, especially when you start doing crazy installs like the tree installs that we do. Um, you're going to need a drill that can actually handle the load, especially if you give a drill to a tree climber. Uh, so that they can do this work i have this dewalt here i have the older version of this that don't sell it anymore but this seems to get the job done for just about every single thing that i've done the important thing here is the hammer drill this is what allows me to drill into some brick uh now that i've been doing conduit work well you know way more than my rookie level uh minor installs Conduit work has been kind of my thing now recently, and I've been doing it more and more, uh, learning a lot, honestly, but this drill is what makes it happen. And also having a drill like this makes, um, you know, doing any kind of tree install a lot, a lot easier. I'm not trying to sell you guys a bunch of drills, but I did a ton of research and I, this is the drill that I have, just the older version. The next best thing is the Makita, uh, which honestly, I think it's actually better, uh, but it's a little bit pricier. And then you have the Milwaukee uh, M18 Fuel. This right here is actually one of the best drills according to all the research that I've done and for the price. Now, the only thing that's gonna be a little bit pricey is actually just the whole package itself, like batteries and stuff. But this is an investment that I have will only be making once even though i have their older drill i am investing into new batteries that actually cost like 150 bucks which is ridiculous because they're batteries but honestly it's just an investment for the rest of my work uh because i will not be stopping here i will not be stopping with just a couple miners i'm growing and growing and growing so yeah i think for me that you know two to three hundred dollars for one tool that can help me do all these jobs but i think it's definitely worth it but guys you don't, want, you don't have to buy these brand new. Maybe you can find these drills on Facebook Marketplace for a lot cheaper. Someone's just letting them go. Maybe somebody wants to upgrade. I just show these because I don't have these in my hand, uh, but these are the drills that would really get the job done. So more of the story is, if you can get these drills for a cheap price, please do so and grow your empire. So closing thoughts, guys, let me know how many miners you actually want to have um, and write them down in your journal uh, and let me know down the road when you actually get those miners. Super sick. I would be super happy to congratulate you. I know the feeling. Uh, guys, thanks so much for watching. My name is Gabriel Chaparro. I will see you guys in the next video.